Hello Wargamers, it's me Callum from Tabletop Banter and today I'm going to be going over another 1000 for 100 list. So for those who aren't familiar with the previous video, um, that is where I look to build a 1000 point list for less than £100. That doesn't include paints and books though, I should probably mention that. Um, you'll have to get those as well really. Uh, um, but with the way that the hobby is going it can get a bit expensive sometimes. Uh, I'm also not using GW prices, I'm actually using a uh, separate supplier of GW products um, which tend to be 25% cheaper, um, which is good, obviously. I like paying less for my models and I still want the nice GW models because they are lovely. Um, so I've decided to make this little series of um, trying to keep your list cheap now. I'm exploring something I haven't done before today, which I've written a Tau list. Um, my knowledge on Tau is useless. I literally wrote this list as if it was things I didn't want to see against me. Um, I, I've never played Tau. I've watched a few battle reports with them online before, but I don't know enough about them to say that this list is solid and it's going to work every time. Uh, not that I can say that about anything I seem to write, but what I can say is it's under £100. You'll have fun anyway. This isn't utterly awful, I don't think. I could be completely wrong. Um, but I'm hoping that it'll be a little bit interesting to just see that you can make these these uh, 1,000 point lists for less money than people seem to spend on them. Um, so without any further ado, I should probably uh, crack into it. So I'll do the same as before. I tell you what I would be purchasing and then I go into the list. So again, this is off Triple Helix Games. So this is a quite a hefty reduction from GW prices. Good luck building a hundred points, a uh, thousand points with a hundred pounds of GW. Um, love their products, not a huge fan of their prices. So first thing I would buy is the Tau Battle Force. Now this might become a bit of a pattern. I do apologise. Uh, it's just you get so much for your money with Battle Forces compared to just buying each box at a time. So I did use a Battle Force, the Space Marine one in the last video. This is the Tau one. It's obviously not got the same parts in it, so I'll just run through what run through what is in it. So you get 12 Fire Warriors, uh, one Piranha, uh, three Stealth Suits, three Battle Suits, and 11 Drones. Um, obviously they're, they're delegated to the separate uh, units, but that's how many you get in the box, I believe. It could be 12, I might have miscounted. Um, and then once we, which is 57 pounds. So once we've bought that, uh, you then need to buy 12 more Fire Warriors, uh, which is another 17 pounds, I think, and then a Commander, which is 18. Um, now, like I said, I don't know how to build a Tau list, apart from what I've seen a bit, um, and what would I would find frustrating to play against. So that's how I've tried to build this. Um, so let's get let's get started then. Uh, combined arms attachment. That's going to be the same for all of these videos except for uh, armies that don't have that available to them. That's because I like combined arms mainly. Um, it, I feel like it's less. Some people label it like playing special detachment is a bit off, a bit cheese. Um, I don't like that saying very much. But if you're playing an opponent and you know your army's better than them, be respectful. That's what I think. But that's that's another discussion for another video. Uh, I'll have a rant then. In the meantime, my commander, 184 points. Again, really steep. But what you have to remember to get the most of your money, each of these units are going to be full of things. Um, they've got to be pretty points heavy to uh, make the most of the money you're spending on the models. So the commander, 184 points, and with that you get two marker drones. Now, there's a thing with my list, all the drones are marker drones. Why? Because I hate marker lights. They're so, so annoying, because you can just shoot them there and you're like, right, that's now got four marker lights, I use two now to increase my ballistic skill, or two to ignore cover, or I use two now to increase ballistic skill, and then when they charge me, I can use the other two so I'm not snap shooting. It's like automatic death everywhere. Um, it's frustrating to play against, so I thought I'd include it. Uh, I know that sounds silly. I obviously, I'm. If I was a tower player, I would use marker lights, knowing that as a non tower player, it's frustrating. So, yeah, two marker drones. Now, I'll just run through the stat line of the commander. He has weapon skill 4, ballistic skill 5, uh, strength and toughness 5, wounds 4, initiative 3, and he has 4 attacks, leadership 10, and uh, I have given him the Iridium Battlesuit for a 2 plus save. 
Um, and it adds one to the toughness, so that's pretty handy. Uh, in terms of things that he has, weapon-wise, this is the area that I'm not sure. Now, most of them cost similar points, so feel free to interchange if you know a better list uh, weapon-wise. But the way I've played this is um, single fusion blaster twin link missile pod. Uh, reason for this being, he's got the twin link missile pod for firing things far off in the distance that he wants to get rid of before they get to close combat. And if it gets near close combat, he's got the 18 inch range strength eight AP1 fusion blaster melter. So the way I saw that was you use the missile pods more time, more often than not. And as a last resort, when someone's right up in your face, get out the fusion blaster and just get rid of them. Um, there are probably flaws to that, I'm, I'm sure. I haven't found them as such, but I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know Tao well enough to say this is the best weapons choice. This is just what I thought I wouldn't like to go against. Um, what else? I gave him a stimulant injector because everyone hates feel no pain, especially when you're playing against it. Blood Angels is something I hate playing against because it's like, oh, you have a feel no pain. Shock horror. Oh, you've passed three out of four. How have you done that? And that's happened too often. So. <laughs> He gets to fire both of those weapons in the shooting phase, so obviously anything close up he can fire both. Um, which is handy, I suppose. It's what Tau do, they sit back and shoot most of the time. Um, I don't want to label them as a boring sit back and shoot army, but it's kind of what they're best at. So, so yeah, he's a lot of points, but you get a couple of extra wounds with the marker drones. You get a two up save. Um, you toughens five, so you're not getting insta killed too often. Um, feel no pain. And some good weapon choices, and I mean the marker lights are going to be the big one. If you can get a marker light on a uh, on any unit that you're shooting at, you can always that always helpful. It's always helpful. Um, so that's the HQ choice. <clears throat> On to elites. So first, a three-man stealth team for 169 points. These numbers really do my head in. I like it ending in fives and nords. So this has been really difficult for me to get it to a thousand points, but I did. It's exactly a thousand this time. Um, so yeah, stealth team. Um, Two drones, two marker drones. Um, why wouldn't you? I mean, marker lights are a giant pain in the ass. So, ooh, excuse my French. <laughs> uh, so they're obviously a, a, a armed with burst cannons, all of them. Um, and I've given them all stimulant injectors, uh, injectors again, because the way I see it is they're a unit that can stay around. They have their ridiculously good cover save. Um, and other than that, they're really only a, they're, they're a three up armor. Uh, yeah, one wound a piece. Uh, let's just go over their stat line really quickly. Um, let's see. Uh, weapon skill 2, ballistic skill 3, strength 3, toughness 3, uh, 1 wound, initiative 2, uh, 2 attacks and leadership 8. So they're pretty fragile. Um, hence why, I mean, toughness 3, stimulant injectors, you could question whether it's worth it. Um, I think it could be. I'm not sure if that's, I think that, no, it's not been given onto the marker drone. That's all right. Don't worry about that one. But I don't know. It's it's something that's nice. It fills out the points again. So I was struggling a bit to fill out the points, which is a bit of a pain because, I mean, when you're on a budget of £100 and you're trying to get all these new models, that's what I want to emphasize. You can do it much cheaper on eBay, but this is buying new models to build. Um, it, it can be difficult. So I have put these things in place that you might not normally see in a tower list, but that's money reasons more than anything. Um, and what we see here is the it, they have stealth and shrouded just all the time. So you've got stealth shrouded, imagine they're night fighting, stick them in trees behind a defense line. It gets a bit ridiculous. <laughs> um, but their burst cannon, uh, their weapon, assault four, strength five, AP five. So not bad. Strength five is good. I like strength five. Wounding a little bit easier. Uh, only 18 inches of range, but uh, they have infiltrate. So they'll they'll probably be coming in sort of a bit closer anyway so that's not a problem um well, and obviously the marker lights they'll help they always help increase that ballistic skill up from three which is a bit mm, half and half i don't like i don't like a 50 50 chance if you can give me a three up to hit i'd much prefer that so on to our next elite choice uh the crisis team <clears throat> now these come in the uh, battle force as well which is great i like the battle force so far um, not much to say other than, you know, they're a crisis team, so they're a giant pain. <laughs> Lots of firepower. I've, um, let's see. I've, these are jetpack infantry. I'll go through the stat line just now. Uh, weapon skill 2, ballistic skill 3. 
strength five, uh, toughness four, we uh, sorry, wounds two, initiative two, attacks two, leadership eight. That's the standard one. Um, I quite like that. I don't like the low initiative and I don't like the low weapon skill. Um, now these guys are coming with six marker drones, which is pretty good. Um, I would be frustrated if I was up against that, to be quite honest. Um, okay, two of those are going to hit, but that already takes them up to ballistic skill five, hitting on twos. Um, and when you see the weapons I've given them, which is uh, they have both the uh, fusion blaster and the plasma rifle. So one strength eight AP one, one strength six AP two. You've got your jetpack movement in the assault phase, so you can be fairly close to use that fusion blaster and then run away. Um, they seem like the kind of unit that is going to be really useful for just like getting in there and killing something and then leaving again. Um, that's how I would use them. I'm sure that's how a lot of Tau players will end up using them or do use them. Um, not not much special about them, I guess. They just they can fire more than one weapon each shooting phase. Uh, they're just a bit of a pain, and those six marker drones are going to make a big difference because if you get one lucky roll and you end up getting four marker lights on a unit. Well, they can say goodbye. Uh, it's as simple as that. Um, On to our troops then. Two fire warrior teams. Reason being, troop carnivores don't uh, end up on cheaper sites, so I went with fire warriors. I wanted a squad of troop carnivores because I think they're interesting and different, but I couldn't find cheap ones, so I stuck with this system. Uh, there are two identical squads, really. Uh, the only difference is one has the uh, what is it? Bonding Nerve Ritual, which means that they can take leadership tests without any modifiers. Um, but I'll just run you through what they have. They have the EMP grenades, super useful. Um, 11 Fire Warriors with Pulse Rifles and one uh, Shazwi with a Pulse Rifle, two Marker Lights. Um, marker Lights, obviously, to light up what they're about to shoot. And then their plasma, well, those pulse rifles, 30 inch range, which is great. Strength 5, awesome. AP 5, not too worried about the AP. I'm bonus if you're up against someone with 5 plus armor, but that's a bit rubbish. I'll run you through the stat line. So we've got weapon skill 2, ballistic skill 3, strength and toughness 3, uh, 1 wound, initiative 2, uh, 1 attack, and a 7 leadership with a 4 up save. Now that's. Four up again. I said I don't like 50-50s. I, I would rather it would. You, there was a way you could spend points to make them a three up, but then they'd be ridiculously good. So although I don't like four up saves, it's appropriate. Um, and you're going to make them some, half the time anyway. So you, the chance what you want is some kind of defense line, like an Aegis defense line or similar, um, or some kind of cover you can just stick them in just in case. And then you won't have to worry about it too much. You just you've got that extra as well instead of just losing guys. Um, yeah, really, I mean, there's not much else. Obviously, you've got the two marker lights and then a lot of firepower. They are um, rapid fire, the pulse rifles, so, you know, if they get within 15 inches, that could get rid of the squad. Again, the only problem is ballistic skill three, you're hitting on four plus. I'm not a huge fan of that. And the other, like I said, the other squad is identical, but they have the uh, bonding knife ritual, uh, which just gives us one thing left. Um, one very lonely piranha from the from the battle force. Uh, why it's in the list? Because it comes in the box. That is the only reason I don't think it's hugely useful. Ah, it can move forward and take an objective if it wants to. Um, you can just keep jinking. But at, at the end of the day, ballistic skill three, front armor 11, weak. Side and rear armor 10, weak. Uh, it is a fast vehicle, that's pretty good. Skimmer, Fine, open topped. Mm. So if you're up against AB1, it's a three plus on the uh, damage thing. So they're rolling fours and you're dead. Uh, now the the benefit uh, of the, the weapons, it has the fusion blaster, which is strength eight AP1, uh, 18 inch range. Now it's fast, so it can move and still shoot at full ballistic skill. Um, I think that's what it means. Uh, you will have to double check, and if I got that wrong, leave a comment below, please. I like to learn. <laughs> and it has a pulse carbine. Uh, assault 2 pinning, and the other one is Assault 1 Melter, so 
it can be handy, I suppose. I wouldn't really say it's the bread and butter of every Tau army, but it's 50 points. It, it might do something. It, it could kill its own points back as long as it doesn't get shot at first. So start it behind something they, without line of sight, move, kill something, and then expect it to die. That would be how I would play it. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, not hugely experienced with tower lists. Don't really know the army too well, apart from what I've seen already on the internet. Uh, but coming in at £92, it's cheap-ish. <laughs> I mean, £92 is not a little bit of money. It's still quite a lot of money, but it's a brand new army. You get to build from scratch. Um, and it'll still it'll still function. I mean, you'll have the two fire warrior squads holding objectives, firing at everything. The piranhas, quick and zippy. You got the crisis suits with the jetpack moves and a commander. You can stick with them, which is crazy. And then a stealth unit that can get in behind the enemy lines and kill a few of them before they come near. I mean, it's not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to play that list. I mean, I wouldn't have a problem. I would feel that I could still challenge it. It's not like oh my god, because sometimes tower lists you're like hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, especially if they start bringing Riptides, but that's way too expensive. I think it's 37 quid on this website, 50 from GW, that's too much. So I, I couldn't have that in this list, it would have been way too expensive. Um, and I think with that, uh, that's it. So if you want to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment below, um, let me know what you think of me, what you think of my lists, uh, if I'm doing anything fundamentally wrong. Um, and if you liked it, of course, that might be another one. If you actually enjoy it and you want to see more of these kind of videos, then yeah, like it, let me know. And um, all right, well, thank you for watching and uh, have fun.